to another episode on ASU G12 exam. So this is the fourth episode in a series of episodes where we focused on the 2020 internal science paper 2 which is in chemistry. So the first episode covered the entire section M. So if you haven't seen that episode check on our YouTube channel. Then episode 2 covered question e, B1. So let us look at B3 in detail. So question B3 in an experiment to prepare a sword, Elena reacted 3.0 grams of magnesium oxide within 40 cm cubic of dilute nitric acid of concentration 2.0 moles per decimeter cubic. Question A write a balanced chemical equation for the reaction. So we are reacting magnesium oxide within dilute nitric acid. So what we need to do is to start with magnesium oxide, which is a solid. Then we react it with nitric acid, which is aqueous. Then we are going to get a salt, which will be magnesium nitrate. Then this will be in the aqueous solution, then plus water, which will be liquid. Then the next step is to balance this uh, chemical equation. So we start with magnesium, we have one, one this side, so magnesium is balanced. We look at the oxygen, we have one plus three, which is four. Then this side we have two times three, which is six plus this one, seven. So how can we balance this one? This is already one, so we can just introduce a two here. Then we're going to have six plus one, which is seven, and this side is seven. Then next we look at the Hydrogen, so hydrogen we have 2 times 1 which is 2 here, then this side we also have 2 which is balanced. Then nitrogen we have 2 here because it's 1 times 2, then we also have 1 times 2 which is 2. So that equation is balanced just by introducing one number which is 2. Then question B, calculate the number of moles of magnesium oxide. So we've been given this mass of magnesium. What is the number of moles that this one represents? So the number of moles N is given by mass given divided by relative molecular mass or molar mass when you're dealing with him, the element. But in this case, since this is a compound, so it's relative molecular mass of magnesium oxide. So what we do is, we know this is a 3, then let us go to the periodic table and find the relative molecular mass of magnesium oxide. So you know magnesium oxide is given by this, this is the molecular formula. So what is it? the mass number of magnesium, is it? this is 24, then plus, what is it? the mass number of oxygen, this is 16, then this gives me 40. So 40 is the relative molecular mass of magnesium oxide. Then we come back here and put a 40 here. Then we divide, we are going to end up with 0 0.075 moles. Once you do that, you get this one mark and that two mark, which is 3. Then lemma number 2, the number of moles of diuret nitric acid. So because... From what we've been given, we've been given the volume of nitric acid and the concentration. That's what we've been given. Then, this concentration is molarity. And molarity is given by number of moles divided by the volume. And this volume should be in this meter cubic. That's why we are seeing this one. So how can you find the number of moles? So just cross multiply. So it will be number of moles is equal to molarity, which we've been given to be 2. Then multiply by volume, which is in this one, but need to be converted to decimeter cubic. So we know that 1,000 centimeter cubic makes up one decimeter. So what we do is, I'll get this one, which is 2.0 moles per decimeter cubic. Multiply by in the 40 centimeter cubic, divide by 1,000 centimeter cubic which is the same as one decimeter. Then I'm going to have 2.0 moles per decimeter cubic 
multiplied by this one is 0 0.04 decimeter cubic then you notice that this decimeter and this decimeter cancels then I'm going to end up with him 2 times 0 0.04 I'm going to end up with 0 0.08 moles as in the number of moles of dilute nitric acid so once you do that you are good to go and get this one mark then question C determine the limiting reactant so now for us to determine the limiting reactant we need to get question A collect so this balance equation we need to get it collect if you don't get it collect then we fail to get at this question collect so what we know is when we have one more of magnesium oxide we need two moles of diode nitric acid so you see here in front there is a one then even here there is a one even here there is a one and this will produce one more of magnesium nitrate and one more of water so now what you are saying is we need to know which one will finish first that's the limiting reactant so which reactant will be used first such that it will force the reaction to stop then the other side is the reactant in excess so if one is a reactant in excess then the other one is a limiting reactant that's the way it is unless they are in the equal proportion so let me just create space so if you have one more so this is magnesium oxide so if you have one more of magnesium oxide i'll need two moles of nitric acid for this to be balanced so now what you do is you just pick one so what i'm going to pick is what we've been given which is magnesium oxide even if you picked nitric acid because you know the number of moles you still alive at the same answer so if i pick this one then the next question that i'll be asking is if i have 0 0.075 moles of magnesium oxide how many moles of nitric acid do I need for this reaction to complete such that all the reactants are used up magnesium oxide and the nitric acid they are used up at the end of the reaction that's what you need to do then I'm going to cross multiply then this times that you see x remember these are number of moles equals 2 multiplied by 0 0.075 then x is equal to 0 0.15 moles so i'll need 0 0.15 moles but how many moles do i have in reality so i only have 0 0.08 moles so because what is required for all magnesium oxide which is this worth moles to be used up is more than what we have nitric acid is a reactant in any shortage or the limiting reactant so in this case dilute nitric acid is the limiting reactant because just give you more detail because then 0 0.08 moles available is less than 0 0.15 moles which is required to use or 0 0.07 moles of magnesium oxide so this is how you answer this question so just to emphasize if you chose to go with nitric acid you still get the same answer so that i just demonstrate to you we use the same relationship magnesium oxide to nitric acid so if this is one two two then this is coming from the balanced chemical equation so i'm going to say how many moles of magnesium oxide do i need to use up 0.80 moles of nitric acid which is this one that we have here then again i'll do cross multiply 
So I'm going to have 2x is equal to 0 0.08. Then divide by 2, divide by 2. So x is equal to 0 0.04. So I won't, I won't need 0 0.04 moles of magnesium oxide to use it within this moles of nitric acid. So because what I have is this one. So I already have more than what is needed. So nitric acid is the limiting reactant while magnesium oxide is the reactant in excess. So this is how you answer this question to get the full max. Thank you for joining me in this episode. Please join me in the next episode as I look at question B4.